British royalty, English royalty are the biggest Nazis on the face of the earth. The queen mother that rides around in her golden chariot, a Nazi. A murderous, blood-sucking Nazi. And all of her holy family, Prince Charles, when I was in England, and I spoke in northern England, Friday night, I was speaking uh, uh, to this English audience on uh, Saturday. And that night before, I was sitting in the hotel watching the birthday of Prince Charles. And Prince Charles is uh, the Queen Mum. I think that's what they call her, Queen Mum. And she comes out, and she's uh, uh, Queen Mum. It says uh, it's her son's birthday, Prince Charles. And everyone politely applauds. They better. They better applaud. Because they, the queen owns them. And consequently, he comes out and she introduces him and she calls him, uh, he comes out and calls her, thank you, mummy. And everyone thought that was clever. Prince Charles, at his age, calling his mother mummy. So I said to the English audience, I said, as an American, I gotta tell you, this woman looks like a mummy. You put a hundred thousand dollar dress on this chump and she still looks like a mummy. <laughs> I think the, the dirtiest, the filthiest, the most licentious and the filthiest people on the face of the earth are the British royalty. They represent in the human race all that is evil and all that is filthy and degenerate. The British royalty, in my humble opinion, are the most evil uh, operation on the face of the earth. I believe they're behind the drug trafficking, mafia, bloodletting. And when David Icke talks about the possibility that there might be reptilian influence there, I'm going to give you my opinion on that based on my own personal research. I think he's totally right on this. I think there's a very good case can be made for the existence of reptilians. And I totally agree that the reptilian influence on this earth is frightening in its implications. And I believe this not because David Icke's reasons. I have my own reasons that I arrived at the same place a long time ago also. There is no such a thing as royalty. You better look at this whole concept of a divine right of kings. This whole thing going on in England with the divine right of kings with this holy bloodline, I think you better go back and start looking at some of the stuff that David Icke is talking about reptilians. Because if there was some kind of an ancient bloodline from extraterrestrials incorporated into our natural evolution, that might serve the basis for saying, well, we have a natural right of kings because of our bloodline. In America, we don't have any of that silly nonsense. A divine right of kings. In America, the way it was, it was formed, as I said yesterday, you've got a falling out with a guy in the bar, and you got, you're carrying a gun, and he's carrying a gun. You don't need a divine right of kings. We're out in the street. We take care of it right now. Why? Because you don't mess with me. I'm an American. I'm not. I'm not crawling on my knees on on my knees to some queen. You realize? I don't know if you recall. I don't know if you heard this or not. But it just occurred to me, about ten years ago, if you remember this, about ten years ago, a young black man, about 18, 19 years old, broke into the Queen Mom's bedroom. Do you remember that? And, and one of the servants of the Queen Mom uh, happened to be walking by, and the bedroom door was, was, uh, was open a bit, and she saw this young black boy in the queen's bedroom and so she quietly went this is in the newspaper this is the news about 10 years ago and she went to the security and quietly the security came up and arrested him for breaking into the queen's bedroom okay and the queen said well first of all he didn't threaten her and he wasn't armed and it was just a childish silly prank and so she let it let it let it slide and if he promised not to do that anymore James Bond couldn't break into the Queen's bedroom. <laughs> yeah.
If there was a young black man in the Queen's bedroom in Buckingham Palace, the Queen ordered him in like pizza. <laughs> the Queen mum with her black boyfriends. Tell me about racism. The most racist, filthiest, dirty bunch of liars the world has ever, ever had to encounter is British royalty. They have taken America's freedom. They have robbed us of our birthright. They have lied to us. The Vatican has made common cause and contractual arrangements with the King of England to rape the world. And I am telling you that if America is not saved, there will be no freedom on the earth. America's freedom was heard around the world because Americans can put guns on their hips and say no man messes with my wife and my children or my country, period. If you don't like it, you get a weapon. I want you out of this country. And that's what made America great all over the world. People respected a man that has had enough and says don't come on my property. And don't mess with my property, my wife, or anything I own, or I'm going to deal with you. And I got a gun here that says I'm going to. Now what are you going to do about it? And consequently, that's what made America great, is the freedom to respect each other, but to defend your rights as a creature of God created for freedom. And I will tell you, all of the trash you are experiencing right now, and this system is caused by the Jesuits, the Catholic Church, and especially British royalty. There is a conspiracy and you can bet on it. Remember the people that we Americans fought on the field of battle to get our freedom. Who were the redcoats? Who were the enemies of the founding of this country if it wasn't the British royalty? Who was it we were fighting? if it wasn't the British royalty. And they have come back, and they've got a score to settle. They know we are a fierce and angry people in America, and not to be messed with. So now they've come back and done it a different way. They've kind of made it a law. And you have the law, and the law says you can't do this, and the law says you can't do that. I say to hell with your law. I'm an American, and I don't goddamn appreciate you telling me what I can do in my country on my home territory. I don't respect your law. I'm an American, and I'm tired of people crawling on their knees to the Queen of England, to the Pope in Rome, and to religion, and to government. I've had enough of all of them. As far as I'm concerned, it is now time for people to wake up and take back your freedom. You're an American. You're not a slave. I want the President of the United States and the CIA to wake up every night in the middle of the night in a cold sweat wondering where the hell I am. I want them, I want them to know who I am. <laughs>